Hi everyone, uh, thanks for checking out this video. Um, so in this lesson, I'm gonna be telling you guys a little bit about uh, the, the logistic growth model. So this is a model that's um, widely used for modeling uh, uh, population growth. And so in my research, a lot of times we'll use this to uh, model the growth of cell populations. But this is also used by like ecologists to model um, animal populations and even by like uh, social sciences researchers to model human population growth. Um, so yeah, it can be it can really be applied to like any sort of uh, population that you want to model that that meets a couple uh, a couple assumptions we're going to talk about. Um, but yeah, so in this for this example, we'll be talking about like a cell population. But just keep in mind this can also be used for like um, uh, humans or non-human animals or any sort of population that uh, that you're trying to model. Um, okay, so before we get into all the math, um, let's talk a little bit about about how a cell population actually grows. So we start off with one cell, and then it divides, and we get um, two cells, and then these divide, and we get um, four cells, right? And then eight, and so on and so on. So let's just think for a second about how we would model this if it just kept growing um, exponentially like this, like indefinitely. So uh, if it just if the growth never slowed down and it just kept doubling and doubling and doubling, how would we model that? So the answer is that it would be something like um, it would be something like this part of the equation here. So we have x. X's are uh, in this case the number of cells, but the, in the general case the number of uh, whatever population you're interested in. And then so we would have um, we would have some growth parameter here r. Um, that would uh, that would sort of be the parameter for the speed of the doubling, and then the actual growth rate. This whole term here would depend on um, the current size of the population because it's like the the bigger it gets, the faster it grows too. You know what I mean? Because it's doubling, so it's like uh, it's growing exponentially. So this here is um, a model of exponential growth with uh, with no slowdown. Um, but of course, so this isn't actually what happens in a cell population. So what happens in a cell population is you it, it doubles, it doubles until it gets to the point where it hits a carrying capacity, where its resources um, are exhausted and it, it can't really grow beyond some point. Um, so at that point, it's sort of that's like the steady state is when it when it hits its uh. When it hits its carrying capacity, um, that's when the growth uh, slows down and eventually um, comes to a stop, or at least reaches an equilibrium where cells are uh, dying off at, at the same rate that uh, the new ones are being created. So to model the carrying capacity, that's what this part of the equation here is for. So um, this very this I mean sorry this parameter k is the uh, carrying capacity parameter. And so basically, this term is saying that um, that as x approaches k, uh, the growth will slow down because this is um, so. If, if we don't have any x, then the uh, the growth term is just uh, one minus zero times times uh, r times x. So it'll just be one times this growth term. But as we get more and more of uh, as we get more and more of x, and x approaches um, the carrying capacity. Then this whole term will become a smaller and smaller fraction until when x is actually at the carrying capacity, um, this whole term will just be zero and we'll have uh, we'll have zero times this term, so zero growth. And you might also notice that if if x were ever above the carrying capacity, then you'd actually get a negative number in here. So you get a negative number times. Uh, times this term, so you'd actually have um, negative growth, meaning cells uh, dying off until it until it got back to uh, the uh, carrying capacity. So that's basically it for this model. So it's very simple, but um, it's also like very, very widely used. So it's uh, very useful to know, because um, I mean, yeah, even though it's simple, you can really use it to model a lot of different things, like really any any sort of population. So if you uh, when you actually plot it out, it kind of looks like like that, where here is uh, the carrying capacity. So you get um, 
exponential growth at first, but then kind of slowing down and slowing down and slowing down until it evens out around uh, the carrying capacity. Um, so yeah, so that's just like a very brief introduction. Uh, I'm actually going to put a link in the description um, to a uh, mathematical biology course that goes more in depth on this, and more in depth on like the, the mathematical analysis and also um, how to integrate this whole thing. But for our purposes here, um, I'm just introducing this to you guys. It's like a very simple model that we're going to um, we're going to write into Python, and then once we have the uh, basic simulation, I'm going to be using this model um, hopefully to teach some more advanced concepts like uh, like parameter estimation and uh, stability analysis and things like that. Um, but yeah, so that's it for now. So in the next lesson, we're going to be actually uh, coding this into Python. Um, so thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.